What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be reviewing this 2024 Hyundai Tucson. Now when you come into the front end, we have this massive black grill over here with the Hyundai logo on the center. Then these are our gorgeous TRLs that get integrated into the grill. Then these are our headlamps with the low beam and the high beam. And then these are our turn indicators. Now when you come onto the side, you can see this tires. We have these 17 inch tires with this machine finished gray colored tires with this massive size ORVM. And then when you look at the side, it has these butt circles that get integrated very nicely. And now when you come into the back end, we have this back finishing. We have the stop light with the back tail lamps and then these are our turn indicators with the reverse light and now when we and as you can see it has a backup camera over here and then the rear right part is this below the spoiler and then this is our fuel tank Yeah, as you can see under the hood we have an actually aspirated 2.5 liter 4 cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic and it gets 23 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon. Now when we step inside the vehicle we can see this is our door trim panel. This, this is this black strip that looks nice. Then there's hard materials here, hard plastic here, it's soft touch and then over here we can see this is our door handle silver that looks awesome and then these are to adjust our mirrors and this is to select the side of our mirrors then we have the unlock and lock functions and then these are are all four power windows with one touch up and one touch down for the driver and passenger then this is to lock our windows then down here we have the speaker and some space with the cup holders now when we step inside the vehicle we see we have this cloth leather cloth seats then those are electrically adjustable. This is to move them forward and back. This is the recline angle. And this is for our lumbar support. And then here we have this steering wheel. We have a little bit black piano finish over here and then a plastic steering wheel. But the design is pretty nice. It is a two spoke steering wheel. And then here we have all the functions for the lane keep assist, lane following assist, adaptive cruise control. And then this is this is the volume up down and then these buttons are to toggle the instrument cluster. Then this is our instrument cluster, it's analog. So here is our speedometer. Then here we have our RPM meter. Then here is our fuel indicator level. And this is to tell the engine temperature. And then this is all analog. And you can see the range up to clear over there, like 265 miles. And then this is the mileage over here, 322 miles. Then moving on to the side, we have this infotainment system we have these this is a eight inch unit and then we have these buttons it looks like it's integrated into the screen this looks good and then there's a separate controls for our automatic climate control so this is to increase or decrease the temperature then we have the auto button and then this is to change our fan speed this is the ac button we have the front defogger rear defogger diffuse and then there's a button for diffuse. If you don't want the air to come directly at your face, you can make it circulate on the vehicle. And then media to change the mode. Yeah, the media is there to change the mode. And then this is... Now, as you can see, these are our gorgeous AC vents. And then this perforations with the strip continues all the way through that side to the passenger seat and you can see the AC vents look good and then that black accenting continues over there now when we come on to the center console we can see we have a wireless charging pad over here so this is our wireless charging pad some storage space there the USB wireless charging pad storage space the USB uh, slot there then we have this 12 volt socket and then here we indicate here the light indicates that the phone is being connected to the wireless charger then there's a usb port and then this is our very stylish gear shifter and then here we have some controls this is to switch off the automatic start stop function then this is for the backup camera it's clear and then it has the where you turn the steering wheel there its trajectory will move so 
it's a uh, it moves with the steering wheel and then this is to lock our differential since it's an all-wheel drive so this locks in our 4x4 then this is the hill start assist and then we have a auto hold function that so the auto hold function is when you press the brake and then you leave it it would stay at a red light and then we have our parking brake so yeah as you can see brake written now we disengage the parking brake then over here we have this black piano finish with this heated seats for both the driver and the passenger so there are two heated seats and then this is our center console with this uh, cream theme over here we just press this button and you can see there's deep storage down there the passenger seat this is our glove box you can see there's decent amount of storage in there and now when we come to the door back the back door panel you can see this black strip that is there at the front that's in the rear as well and then more it's hard plastic and then there's still a cup holder back here with speaker down here with the power window control button some storage space and the door handle now when we come to the back seat you can see i have a sufficient amount of leg room and sufficient amount of headroom and that's pretty impressive for this car there means it's plenty of space at the back and three people can easily sit on it now as you can see we have two cup holders and an armrest at the back as well and then we have ac vents for the rear passengers and then two usb ports as well to charge your devices in the back seat and overall it's pretty spacious and good and, uh, When we come to the back, the wiper is behind the spoiler and it gets the power tailgate. So now this is how it opens. And then when we come in, we have this carbonet over here and we have this roadside assistance kit. And then this is all the boot space that we have. And then we can further fold the seats down for extra boot space. And then the spare tire goes under there. Yeah, it's a pretty big boot. Closer. Now when we come to the other side, we can see this silver accenting down here with this design. That and now as for the key, you can see it has the lock, unlock. With this we can open the boot. This is for the horn and this is for the remote start. Now with the remote start, first you press the lock button and then you keep holding the arrow that says hold. And you can hear the car changing. It has just started and this is how the front loop comes with it. Now we can close it. The remote start has been done. Now you can see this is the this is how the key looks from the behind. And now in terms of features it has the blind spot monitor over here. And that triangle would light up with according to the screen. So now we are going to be testing its ride quality and let's see how it rides. The steering is quite responsive and its turning radius is very good like a sedan and it can it can take tight turns as well but it is a large vehicle so its, its seat is height adjustable which helps it to look in front of the hood and makes driving easier. And the steering wheel is light enough, not super hard like big SUVs have it. And so far, so good. Thank you so much guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share it with as many people as possible so I can get more videos for you just like this. And